so i've just woken up it's around 7 a.m right now and welcome to this vlog i'm just going to share with you how my day is going to be with a newborn and with a toddler this is the first day i've been left alone without any help hubby is back at work my sister is back to her business and you know she didn't she wasn't supposed to be here like forever anyway so it's 7 a.m and what i've done uh my newborn is awake i've just left off the bed my three-year-old is still sleeping if you're new here welcome to the vlog my name is Eunice I'm a mom and I'm also a wife currently at around three weeks postpartum with a toddler who is three years old so what I'm doing right now is that I'm preparing um, my toddler's uh, breakfast so that when she wakes up at around 10 uh, it will be ready so that's what I'm doing right now and then after this I just want to go back to the room and change my newborn uh, diapers and stuff breastfeeder because I know that she's going to fall asleep the, so that you get to see how this day is going to go so let me tag you along I'm going to put some little coffee and I'm going to have it with some of the cake that I baked uh, was it yesterday or two or the other day yes so this is what I'm just going to have for breakfast meanwhile and then I breastfeed her again Hopefully she will fall asleep. What's happening with her? It's that I constantly have to carry her if she's not sleeping because she just wants to be carried. In total, I'm corner. I don't understand how a two weeks, three weeks baby just wants to be carried around. So I've just um, noticed that with her, she really wants to be carried around. Uh, if you're putting her down, make sure she's completely and totally asleep otherwise that's the difficult part of trying to do things when she's awake so when she's asleep i just try and maneuver very fast and do what i need to do so let's just go ahead take this breakfast and then get her to sleep so guys it's around 10 zamira is up i just want to give <laughs> i just want to give her morning porridge and then uh the newborn is still sleeping okay she fell asleep thank god so let me give this guy over here a breakfast and then we're able to do something else, okay? Actually don't have uh, much utensils. I just want to put this ones in order and then i'll be taking some soup so let me just put them there and then some of this plates also and put them there um yeah nothing much so we're done with breakfast for for the kids i just want to go ahead and put some soup for myself with oxtail i'm taking oxtail soup which is very very sweet so that's what i want to take right now I've been looking at this thing, I think it's milk. So let me go ahead and take some of that soup. That one is having her moment with the bike over there, so she's going to be there for some time. Then I want to take advantage of this free time right now because the newborn is still sleeping and change some beddings that I have. I don't think I'm going to do any laundry today. The weather doesn't look so good. So I'm just going to change some beddings and maybe do laundry maybe tomorrow or just another day. But I don't think I'm going to do some laundry today. Maybe some cleaning of the... Of the toilet and ah, even finished putting the soup and I can hear the newborn already crying. Mm, this is so good. So let me just go and pick her up, breastfeed her again, and see if she's going to fall asleep because you can clearly I'm not even done. I'm not finished taking my soup. She's already up. Yeah, I can hear her crying. So let's go and pick her up. Seriously, guys, I ser I seriously seriously. Think that I need to dewarm as soon as possible. Uh, the last time I dewarmed, I think nearly got like six months pregnant. So right now, I feel like my face is bringing back the dewarming, the warms problem. So I really need to dewarm. Mm, I've got to do that. I think in the in the I was at dewarm in the clinic uh, just to get my face back in order because I can see, I can see it needs. It has the signs and symptoms. But either way, guys, I'm still breastfeeding. Yeah, she's here. I'm breastfeeding. And then uh, I know she's going to fall asleep in the afternoon hours. And the good thing is that they fall asleep almost the same time in the afternoon hours. That gives me a very, very good chance and opportunity to do so much. So the only task that I have today is that I really need to change bed sheets for both beds. 
Uh, so I, I have to do that today. Yeah, so she's finally falling asleep. Let me hope this will give me the chance to put her down and then get her some uh, something to do. She is down asleep, completely sleeping. So now let me just go to the bedroom and change the bed sheets very fast and do what I need to do right now because when she wakes up, it's another session of doing totally nothing. You get? Yeah. So we are here with Zemi. Zemi is not yet asleep. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Subscribe. Subscribe. To our channel. Not to channel. Good job. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. To channel. channel. Oh, yes. I've just finished making the bed and I can hear the baby crying and I've not yet finished. I really wanted to like wash the the toilets real quick because I'd already poured in some happy. But let me just go ahead breastfeed her kidogo and then yeah and then maybe wash the toilet and as I give the mirror a bath later on. But that's how I'm just trying to to maneuver around in the house. What do you want mommy? Mm -hmm. What? What? Mm -hmm. What? Huh? There's nothing there for you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Come. Come, let's check on the baby. So, let me just breastfeed her real quick. It's hard for me to let go. But I think that I'm finally feeling good again. So hard cause I loved you But I'm finally feeling like myself All of the wounds that were open by you are now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cause I do feel less broken I needed a sign is a sign that I'm healing I'm finally healing from you I'm finally healing from you to quickly uh, clear the few utensils that I have and then just prep what I want to do for dinner and then quickly go take a shower because when they wake up the most most of the time Zemira come wakes up uh, um, before the newborn so I'll, uh, when they wake up I tend to give uh, Zemira a shower and then the other one wakes up later then she gets a shower later so let me do that in the let me just clear everything right now in the kitchen and I hope I'll just do it silently before they wake up
I've not yet taken a bath, but what I'm going to do, let me just give her her evening snack. I hope she's just going to chill as I take her bath. Uh, the new one is sleeping, thank God. So I have a chance to take a shower because I know Zemira is going to behave when she's alone in the sitting room. So I'll have the chance to take a shower and yeah, and probably start preparing supper. Please allow me please to close this video here for today. It's around 6 p.m. already so what i want to do what are you doing all the babies have taken a bath i've also taken Yay! a bath you can see i have a change of clothes so uh the only thing that is remaining today that i haven't done is to prepare supper and that's going to be a quick one because you need a raka so basically that's how my day was and let me know if you like this video i'm definitely going to do another one the more they grow the more the schedule continues changing so the trick is just to try and be as fast as possible utilize the time that you have because the newborn really needs a lot of attention so that's how i'm just trying to manage everything so far so good i cannot complain it's mommy life if 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 we let our nannies stay with even three kids two kids you can also do it as a mom you know so yeah so that's it guys for today let me see you in my next one please remember to subscribe or at least give this video a thumbs up and we're going to chat more in the comment section remember to follow me on instagram my handle is petite mama right now i just want to take some tea some nice nice tea before i prepare a uh, dinner this little one over here is still crying crying so i'm just going to hold her for some time Hopefully she's just going to sleep again so that I can prepare dinner. Goodbye guys.